this is my third rooftop solar installation and the first two work fine and although it may it may upset some people the way I'm doing it because it's not by code um, I'm not sure that there is a code for vehicles I'm sure that there's probably quite a few solar RV installers that have some kind of a code and it may work great for them but this stuff works great for me and uh, I'm gonna show you how uh, I do it hopefully um, so you can do it yourself it's pretty pretty cheap way of doing it it's very effective and it doesn't leak so what else do you need so I bought some uh, PVC conduit it's electrical conduit um, non-metallic rigid conduit but it's only rigid when it's below a certain temperature which is why I've got a heat gun looks like a blow dryer it's essentially what it is except it gets really hot so um, but the, the conduit the joint that's a 90 degree joint that I'm that I uh, that I'm using to run through the the roof of the bus I've already cut the cut the root uh, the hole with the hole saw and I'll show you that in a minute um, but basically what it is I heated this up with a with a with the heat gun and straightened it out earlier so I ran it up through here and now I'm gonna heat it once again and I'm gonna bend it down this way so when I'm traveling down the road the most wind I'm gonna get and this is gonna go under a panel so the most wind I'm gonna get is from the front of the bus so I'm gonna turn this um, facing backwards and I'm gonna seal this up and then I'm gonna seal this joint see how nice and tight that is already so I'm just gonna seal that joint up and this is gonna be bent backwards mm -hmm. 